Hey guys, this is Morg here, and welcome back to another video where I'm going to show you a disassembly of the original Game Boy Advance. So, right now I'm just going to show you here that it works. Just showing you that. Just showing you that. So, yeah, so sometimes you have to disassemble these to uh, sometimes to, to do any mods like. Look, I know the screen on these are very bad if you don't have a lot of light. And sometimes um, I've seen people have uh, gotten the screen out of one of these and put it in here. So, to disassemble it, I'm going to take the cartridge out, take the batteries out. Take this out. Okay. So... Another thing that I found out is that if you zoom in, uh, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to see this, but if you, um, yeah, if you, if you look right under the battery, the battery's right there, you see some numbers there. Zero, two. I think those um, can uh, tell you what kind of motherboard you have. So, yeah. Zoom out. So, yeah. So, so once you have all that stuff out, you want to have the Phillips... Well, actually, no, a tri wing screwdriver. That's a tri wing screwdriver and a Phillips. A Phillips. They're probably going to be pretty small because the screws are also pretty small. So, tri wing and Phillips. There are six tri wing screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's a Phillips screw, a black one right by the battery. So, yeah, I'm just going to take those out. Actually, I think I'll skip it. Also, make sure you keep your screws separate because um, most of these are different from each other, too. So. so, yeah, so once you have all those screws out, just lift the back off. That took like a little bit because there's a, yeah. There you go. There's this little sh metal shield thing for the cartridge so yeah there's a yeah there's a you can take these little grip pieces off to also take off the these little things with the trigger buttons yeah here's the uh the board from the back side so yeah just go on to uh unplug that uh that screen connector there's just like these two let me focus that. There's these two, um, there's these two things that you want to lift up. They're those little gray things there, and just, just like push them up a little bit. And then once you have that taken out, just pull it up like that. And this is actually uh, for the screen. So, and to take out the motherboard, there are three Phillips screws. There's one right here, then there's two over here. I've also noticed this has um, quite a bit of capacitors, too. So, yeah. Now I'm going to take those out. Once you unscrew the motherboard, also going to take out this piece here. It's just uh, for the power switch. So yeah, just um, this will just lift up. I like to hold it from the sides. I like to hold it from the sides, just like this, or for, or from the cartridge connector, or just from the sides. So, yeah, probably want to keep this uh, speaker connected, unless if you, unless if um, you have. Um, Unless if you have like soldering things, but if you don't, you're probably going to want to just keep that connected. And there's these rubber pieces that, that there's these rubber pieces that are right here. Let's put this over to the side. Yeah, here are these uh, rubber pieces, and these just um, give the buttons like a tactile feel, so they just move in and out when you press them. And these just come out, and just yeah, these just come out really easily. And when you're taking them apart, if you have one that's um, 
not in really good condition. Like you could just probably want to take these out so you can clean them. These buns look like they have gunk on them. And for the, there's a piece for the power bun or the power light. You can just get that off too. Now to get the screen out, if, if it's your first time taking it apart, you're probably going to flex it. Cause it's probably, um, cause there's this adhesive that holds it in and just flex it and just, just, um, flex it and just, uh, put some in there and just gently, um, pry it away. And then probably not going to touch the screen here or, or this side of it just cause you're not going to be able to get any fingerprints out of it when it's assembled. So yeah. So yeah, here's like um, the uh, adhesive and like the glass there. And here's the screen itself. Let's focus a little bit on that. Yeah, there's a screen there. If you look more closely, you can see the pixels and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this back together now. Put this back together. It was also um, good to know did, what's inside it when you're, if you're replacing the shell of it. You're replacing the shell, so if you want to get um, an aftermarket shell just with like a different color, so just, yeah, just like, actually, wait. Just gonna put the screen in and the buttons. Just make sure the, um, put these little holes here. Make sure the holes, they just line up with the little things that stick out. And just make sure that they're going in the right way. If they don't go in all the way, it's probably put in the wrong spot. In the that piece. So now should just be able to um, place this the circuit board in. See how this like processor here and stuff. So just wanted to mention that. And just try to just pop that back in. Oh, it looks like the skirt, the, the speakers are going in that well. So just move that around just a little bit. Okay, I think it's in there all the way. Okay, let's focus. So now I'm going to put the screws back in. And then I'm going to put in all these pieces here. So now I've got all the screws in, so now I'm just going to plug the screen back in. Okay. There we go. So now... Okay, cool. So now... These grips in, and how and how I know, well, just um, how I know if these are going in right, is that on the right side where like the power switch and the capacitors are, is where this goes in, where it has this little thing sticking out, cause it, cause it's kind of like, cause it kind of like lines up with that, that right there. Just do that. And just put the other one in. I kind of just like push into this. See, I think this one goes in here. And I also try to press the trigger button so if it feels right, I don't know, it's in there all the way. Yep. 
feels feels good. So now I think we just put um just put this back on top. Now we just put actually wait. Wait a second. I forgot to put the, this little piece on for the power switch. And I also um just see if it feels clicky. It does. Don't know. I got in there, right? Just slide this on top. And now I can put these screws. Switch out the bits here. Okay, I'm just gonna skip. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put these batteries in. Gaming. Okay, looks like I plugged the screen in all the way. Nothing working. Okay, so just as a kind of a bonus thing, I'm also going to show what is inside this cartridge. Now, I found a, a couple of different um, cartridges, and they both look different, so. This is just one kind, and I don't think this one has a cell battery in it. I think uh, the ones that had cell batteries are mostly just like Pokemon games, because they would need a, a cell battery to uh, keep the save and the time. So yeah, there's just uh, one, there's just one, there's just one tri-wing screw on the back. Just gonna take that out. So yeah, and now just uh, go to the front and that just kind of like slides down and off. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. And I think from all the stuff written on the circuit board, I think this is a 512, 512 kilobytes of ROM. There, we'll just flash ROM. So, yeah. So it's right there, and there's the pins on the bottom. You can see that there. Back there, so now I'm just gonna put that back in. Okay, I'm just going to put that in, again, showing that this is working. So yeah, there you can see. So yeah. Okay, so... So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. See you next time.